Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 9.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 9.4 is called Relating Fractions, Decimals, and Money. Um, it's kind of a fun chapter because we get to deal with money and most kids like money. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 355 and 356 as we go through the lesson. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and get started. It says, together, Julie and Sarah have a dollar and quarters. They want to share the quarters equally. How many quarters should each girl get? How much money is this? Okay, so they've given us a model here to relate money fractions and decimals. And they've also given us a reminder that one dollar equals 100 cents, one quarter equals 25 cents, a dime is 10 cents, and a penny is one cent. Just so that we can use that information in case you didn't know. Okay. So, together, Julie and Sarah have a dollar in quarters. So, if we were going to make a dollar out of quarters, we would need four of them. So, here's our model. Four quarters is what gives us a dollar. Okay. And they say they want to share these quarters equally. There's two of them, Julie and Sarah. So, we want to split them up equally. Well, we can do that easily. Here's for Julie. Here's for Sarah. So each girl will get two quarters, which is 50 cents. So we write 50 cents as zero in the dollars and 50 after the decimal point. So that's how we write 50 cents. And see here, they got the dollar sign already for us. They gave us a little bit of extra information over here that one quarter is like writing 25 over 100 because it's 25 cents out of 100 cents that makes a dollar, or it's one-fourth of a dollar, because you need four of them to make a dollar. Two quarters would be 50 over 100, or two-fourths, or one-half of a dollar. And one-half of a dollar is 50 cents, and you can write it like this or like this. Okay? So that's, we solved the first part, which is how many quarters each girl could get. How much money is that? 50 cents. So we solved the problem. Now they're giving us some examples down here. They want us to use money to model decimals. So they've shown us here's a dollar. A dollar is worth 100 cents. So here's our 100 model. So one dollar is equal to... 100 cents. You know that because if you were to count pennies, you would need 100 of them, 100 cents, to equal dollar. Okay, 10 dimes also gives us a dollar. So they've here's our 100 chart because remember, it's 100 cents for a dollar, and they're coloring in 10 of them for, to show you one dime. So one dime equals one-tenth or... 0 0.10 of a dollar. So we write 10 cents as 0 0.10. Okay, and then here we are with our pennies. It takes 100 pennies to equal a dollar. Here's our 100 chart. One penny is just like coloring in one single little box in our 100 chart. Pennies are worth one. Pennies are worth one, dimes are worth ten, dollars are worth one hundred. So here they colored in a hundred, here they colored in ten, here they colored in one. <clears throat> you write one penny as one over one hundred, or if you were to change that one over one hundred into a decimal, you would have your one ending in your hundredth spot, so zero point zero one. That's how we write one cent after the dollar sign, 0 0.01. Okay, so um, if you're in my class, actually, you just need to fill out that last page. Uh, I don't have the picture to pull up the second page, but I'm going to do the work here for you just to give you one more example. Um, it tells us to think of dollars as ones, dimes, and tenths. So, for example, here's our dollar sign. Let's pretend that we had 356. This is our ones. This is our tenths. 
and this is our hundredths. So this is where our pennies are. This is where our dimes are. And this is where our dollars are. Okay, kind of like a place value chart. Ones, tenths, hundredths are equal to dollars, dimes, and pennies. So if we had 156, we would have one dollar, five dimes, and six pennies. Okay, or one dollar and fifty six pennies, or one hundred and fifty six pennies. Okay, so if you were to have three pennies. How would I write that as money? Here's my dollar sign. Pennies. Pennies go over here in my hundreds place. So I'm going to have zero in my dollars place or my ones, zero in my dimes place or my tenths, and I'll have three in my hundreds place or where my pennies go. And how do I write this as a fraction? I have three hundredths, because this is tenths, this is hundredths. So three pennies would be written like this in money, like this in a fraction, and if you were to write it as a decimal, you would just take off this dollar sign, 0 0.03. Okay, if you were in my class, you should have filled out this page, which is in your big math book for 9.4, it's page 355. And if you are not, you can write down the password notebook in your planner so your teacher knows that you watched the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.